except one. Deal or no deal? Welcome to a fresh week of Deal or No Deal. And what an incredible week it was last week. No wonder this show is so popular, because we are proving that every single player has a different way of playing the game. And we also proved something else last week. The big money really is out there. Two of our players actually selected the box with £100,000 in it. Unfortunately, they didn't win the big money. They dealt too soon. This game is all about courage, but particularly about timing. You can follow the game on the game board. And you've probably realised by now, our 22 identical boxes contain 22 different sums of money, from 1p all the way up to a quarter of a million pounds. And right now, 22 people are wondering whether today is their chance to win a fortune. Who is going to be playing Deal or No Deal on this Monday? Come and have some fun. Audrey. Come on, Audrey. Bring them up, up to the table. Oh, that's finished me off. <laughs> Hello, Audrey. Can I help you get on the uh, uh, stool? Okay? Thank you very much. Thank Lovely. You. Welcome. At Hi. last. Nice to meet you. Hello. Very, very nice to meet you, Audrey. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> Audrey is from Chesterfield in Derbyshire. Yes. New premises licensing assistant for North East Derbyshire Council. You must have a big business <laughs> card to get all that on. Yeah. Do you believe in fate? I do, yes, and destiny. I think your cards are mapped out from the day you're born. Really? Yeah, I, do. I believe in the stars and horoscopes and, uh, you know, what's meant to be is meant to be. No. Do you make your own luck? I think you can do if you're determined. Do you think you're going to be lucky today? Yes. I hope so. Thank you. Audrey, this is the point where we have to do just a little bit of housekeeping. I need you to confirm that before the show, you chose box number three at random. We didn't force the box on you. That's correct. OK, the independent adjudicator sealed this box and 21 other boxes. The only person who knows where the money is. I don't, you don't. Most significantly, the banker with whom you are about to lock horns also doesn't know where the money is. We can follow your progress on the game board, and I hope it's going to be spectacular progress towards big money. As you've seen over the weeks, the longer you keep 50, 75, 100, and 250,000 in play somewhere out here, the better the offers from the banker. Audrey, happy to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Great. First five now, please, Audrey. Okay. Number one, Jason. Number one, Jason. Open box number one. Come on, Audrey, love. Good luck. 10,000. OK. OK. But if you could now stay below 5,000, it would be absolutely fantastic start. Your second choice. Um, number 20, Simon. 20. Simon? Good luck, Audrey. Okay, yes. that's gone, that's fine. I don't have to worry about that one now. There's still plenty left on the board there. Okay, so we've taken the big sweetie away, the big temptation, and now we can focus on 100,000. 
So your third choice. Number four, Jeff. Jeff, keep left. Good luck. I really want you to get this. Oh. 75,000. You've waited weeks uh, and weeks never mind, for your never chance mind. to play and your first choices are all red and you've taken two big reds. The next one. Number 13, Andy. 13, Andy. Please change the whole atmosphere of this game. Please. Everybody's gone quiet. Come on, it's not the end of the world, but we do need this to be low. Please open box 13. 100,000! Oh. Audrey. No. You have now taken the title <laughs> of the deal or no deal unluckiest oh. player. It is <gasps> the worst opening by a country mile. Oh, You've no. taken out the three biggest numbers, another red. Audrey, what are you going to do now? Not 50,000, please. Number two. Number it's two? Not 50,000, Michael, Michael, please. Please, please, not 50,000. Would you open box number two, please, Michael? I'll try and make it a good one. Thousand. Right. Okay, every single one in your opening round oh, was red. Well, I don't know. Extraordinary. You've taken out purely reds. Quite extraordinary. And you've also taken the three largest numbers, which is unbelievable. I need some blues. I need some blues. Bad luck. I know. Oh. And. Bearing in mind, that is the unluckiest start we have ever had. It is, isn't it? I'm wondering what the banker's opening offer is going to be. Me too. Can you guess? I want a clue. Afternoon. <laughs> He's just said, lovely... Lovely Audrey. He's got a lovely feeling inside. Has he now? <laughs> the unluckiest start we've ever had and the lowest opening offer we've ever had. £300. Oh. He's just insulted me. Well, he's hardly building your confidence. Wouldn't it be great if... All that happened now was you just marched through the yeah, blues. Yeah, it would be lovely, yeah. All the way up to 5,000. <laughs> and then we could rub his nose in it. But the reality is, for that box now, he's offering you 300 pounds. Audrey, 300 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. Yeah. Three boxes now to the next bid. Speed it up. Twelve, Marianne. Twelve. Marianne? One of the blues, one of the low numbers, please. Definitely Audrey. Okay. Let's end the bad luck. This is Yay! Yay! Thank you. Next one. Uh, Seventeen, Jenny. Jenny, not one of the big reds, just a little blue. Two hundred. Yay! This is better. 21, Irene. 21, Irene. This box has to be low. Yeah. Is it OK if I open it then? You may take the seal off. I may take the seal off. And right. I need to remind you... Yes. ..the box has to, to be, be low. low. Right. OK. I've taken the seal off. Have you taken it on board, Irene, that yes. it must be low? Yes. Irene? Oh. Right. It is so, so important that you keep this low. So important that I'll keep it low for you. Right. Right. Oh, 
feel like a break. I don't know about you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your chance to play Deal or No Deal at home. These three boxes contain five hundred. Hi, welcome to the uh, Brave Face Show. Audrey's putting a brave face on it. We all are putting a brave face on the fact that she, in round one, has taken out the two fifty thousand, the hundred thousand, and the seventy-five thousand. We're about to get another offer from the banker. And Irene, it is vital that you keep this low. Absolutely vital that this sum of money is low. Would you like to come round and open the box, please? OK? Open the box. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Irene. I've got it. Right. Fantastic. Exactly what we needed. So, the opening offer was three hundred pounds. By far our lowest offer. Now, let's forget about that disastrous start. At the moment, you've done everything right. In the next round, fifty's there. Thirty-five, twenty, and fifteen are still sitting. Okay. Yeah. How are you feeling? Fine. Yeah. I'm fine. I've forgotten about those big numbers. They. They've gone. Once they've gone, they've gone. Yep. They're still 50, 35, 20, 15. Still large amounts of money. Just need some more positive energy from you guys. Yep. More blue ones off, please. Thank you. Are you getting any energy from the kids? You've got three kids, I believe. Yeah, three. You want to say hi? Hi, Torian, Sasha and Karis. Mm-hmm. 23, 21, 14. What? <laughs> Wow. I'll have a mug of whatever you're thinking. <laughs> of course, it's working. Right. So, back to the subject in hand, the banker. The banker. On the positive side, you now have a huge number of options. Not just for the next round, the forthcoming round, yeah. but for the one after that. However, the biggest amount of money to focus his attention is regrettably 50,000. You still got 35, as you say, 20 and 15. Yeah. So that is a good solid block there. But he undoubtedly is going to interpret that opening round as failure. Yeah, I know. And it means he's setting the deal bar really low. Hi. Hello. It was an improved round, yes? Not even in the usual territory yet. Oh. Uh, second offer, twelve hundred pounds. He's gone up a little bit, hasn't he? He has. He's quadrupled mm. his opening bid, one thousand two hundred pounds, because you could have fifty thousand in that box. I could, yes. But he thinks you're so unlucky. That's not bothering him at the moment. I feel lucky today. Well, it's getting better, isn't it, guys? Yes. yes. So you think you've disposed of all the bad luck? Yeah. The bad vibes, the bad karma's all gone away. The negative energy's gone. And now we're coming into new right, positivity positive. for Audrey. Life's little ups and downs. We've done the downs. This it, is yeah. an up. And so, at £1,200, Audrey, is it a deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. <laughs> what about a quick one? Quick round. Nine, Louise. Right, one, Louise. Okay, we're going to have a nice quick round, Louise. Starting with you, and we would like it to be blue and low. Open the box, please, Louise. Be lucky, my darling. Five yeah. pounds. Yeah. Next one. Twenty-two, Chris. Chris, twenty-two. We want low it nice blue. and low. Nice and low. Replicate, replicate the last round where you took low numbers. Where are we going? The five, Jenna. Jenna, five, Gemma. welcome Gemma. to the game, Jenna. Thank and you. we would love this to be. We would love this to be low. Open box, my yes. Yay! Yay! What a good girl. 
One pound. That's looking a lot better. He has to take notice of that. Of course he will. Of course he will. So, I wonder, I wonder if he's in a quadrupling mood. 300 went to 1,200. Have you done enough that he would maybe start to go up towards 5,000? He's got eight. to take me seriously now, Noel. He's got to. Yes, I would have thought so. He's got to. Because there is still, if you take 3,000 and 5,000 now as being small numbers at this stage in the game, we have got seven options for you to hit with your next three if you decide to go on. He therefore has to take that seriously. Audrey's show. She has. Mm-hmm. He thinks it's a good idea to go up. And he's increasing the offer to £4,700. That's very generous of him. You think that's very generous? Would you describe that as very generous? Not with what's on the board. Michael? Not at all. He's, uh, he's just trying to... Tempt her, but I don't think she'll be tempted. Joe, is that very generous? No, not really. She's got loads of money left on that board. She can easily play on. Rob? Um, no, I think it's right for him, but not necessarily right for Audrey. I don't think it is very generous. Okay. It's very generous if you haven't got £4,700. Yeah. That's a lot of money, £4,000. You can buy a lot of frocks with that. And matching shoes. <laughs> a rather nice bag. Mm. Christmas is only a few days away. Yep. 4700 you could go to accessory heaven. Mm. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I don't know <laughs> anything about this subject. £4,700, Audrey. Have you got an idea of a figure that would make you smile, make you happy, make you go? Not really, no. £4,700, deal or no deal? <laughs> no deal. <laughs> Your task doesn't change. The advantage comes closer and closer and closer to you the further we go through this round without you touching one of the big numbers. Avoid 50,000, 35 and 20. And we'll start to get him higher and higher with the offers. Okay. Do you want to go quickly or are we going to have a nice slow cruise? I want to go quickly. Quickly seems to work. Right, where are we going? Number six, Lee. Lee, number six, feeling good about it? Never really got any particular feelings about the box. I just hope that it's a good one for you. Okay. Lee, open box number six. We need it to be low. 3,000. Yeah. In this context, Thanks, it's low. 5,000 downwards is fine. Second box. Okay. Number 10, Dave. Dave? Would you please open box number 10, 5,000, 1p, 10p, 50 pounds, 500 pounds, 750 pounds, not 50,000 pounds. Dave, open it. Love this for, to be at 1p for you. 750, that's fine. Great team, Karen. And Karen. 
Same thing applies, Karen. Not 550, 10p, 1p. It can be 5,000, it mustn't be 50,000, and it can't be open till after the break. <laughs> Don't forget that you could be... You could be joining us for the biggest turnaround that we have had in the history of the show. We've had a horror story start by Audrey where she took out the three biggest sums of money. But we are very, very close now to achieving another positive round. Could this be the beginning of the fairy tale? Karen, if you can stay away from 50, 35, 20, if you can keep it low, she is bound to get a better offer from the bank. Please open box 18 now. 50,000! The luck it's has run out. Never mind. And we're back to the horror story. Never Top mind. target reduced. 4,700 was the offer last time when you had it there. Yeah. Positive, you could still have 35,000 in here. Yeah. We might not be feeling on top of the world, but there's enough positivity and solid figures there that hopefully you won't go away with one P. Reason I say that <laughs> is remember, this sum of money might be below your expectations yeah. at the beginning of the show, but it's what happens at the end of the show. It's the end of the journey that decides everything. I do not want you to forget, you could have just one P in there. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I... oh, he's he's gleeful. Thinks you're the perfect woman. He's right. In player terms, <laughs> you are heaven for him, and he is offering you Audrey for that box there, because of that scenario there, £2,300. I thought it would. £2,300. But, you have a 25% chance of winning at least £20,000. Mm. And a 50% chance you could win five. At least five. And you could have £35,000 in this box sitting right in front of you, the box that you chose. If I could only get rid of those blues. Just four of them on the board there. Yeah. £2,300 is a lot of money. But there is another a deal on the board there, another game there. Do you think so? Yeah. There is. You could decide now that it's been such an unhappy experience, such a disappointing game, that, well, let's just keep going. Go yeah. I might just go all the way. £2,300. Deal or no deal? No deal. Right. Right. Let's try... Let's try a different tactic at the opening of a round. Everybody, hold hands. Let's get some positivity up the line. Come on. East wing, Thanks, west guys. wing, let's get the energy going here. Take it at the pace you want. The next three, go. The 14, Helen. 14. Helen, would you please open box 14? Let open. 10 pay. Yeah. Right. Next one. Come on. Yeah. 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 Nick. Do it again, Nick. Come on, we want it to be a low number. Open the box. Yeah, we can turn this around. 
the next one. What is it? 15, Rob. The positivity is working. Rob, open box 15. Immediately open it. Straight away. 5,000. Yeah! I don't know why it worked, but it worked. Thanks, guys. Now, the gameplay has changed totally. How are you feeling? Powerful. Yeah. Hello. He doesn't think you're bluffing. He believes it when you say you're feeling powerful. Audrey. The banker, the box in front of you, is offering you £7,000. £7,000. Sorry, let's not lose touch with reality. Yes, I know it's a money game. And I know there's 35,000 pounds up there, but there are millions of people watching who have just gone, well, I wouldn't mind having 7,000 pounds. Fine line between courage and folly. How much of a gambler are you? How much of a risk taker? How much do you just want to have fun because you came here to play the game? Seven thousand. Water. Deal or no deal? No deal. Right. That was great. That was great. Now, when we all joined hands, we gave you a dream round. Should we try that one more time? Yeah. Okay. Nothing has changed. Your luck has improved. Your position has become more powerful. Away we go. Number 11, Michael. Michael? Please open box 11. Let's make it a Merry Christmas. Oh. First okay. box after the courageous decision. And you take out the very number we did not want to see seconds after turning down seven thousand pounds audrey i do not want to see you go away with the lowest possible amount of money the banker does i don't want you to next one what's it going to be number seven number seven max open the box five hundred yeah. The good news is, the good news is, it is impossible for you to take the two large ones. So, let's eradicate the 1P by hitting it now. Where do you want to go? 19, Joe. Right. Come on, Joe. If this box contains one pence, you are guaranteed 15,000 pounds. Think it, believe it, and Joe, deliver it. I couldn't Come cope on. any more, Audrey, but I want this to be the penny. No! Oh! An all or nothing game now exists. 20,000 could be in there. This is horrendous. 
or the lowest amount of money could be in there. Oh. Hi. Hello. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Don't drag this one out. What is it? Oh, this is awkward. He's offering you £8,500. £8,500. You have a 50 50 chance yeah. now of walking away with £20,000. If you are a no dealer to the end, you could go into our Hall of Fame. You're already there with the worst possible start, <laughs> and you could cement it at the very end with the lowest amount of money ever. In itself, an achievement. One P, eight thousand. I look at you, not the board. It's tempting me. Tell me when you want the question. Give me the question. Audrey. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> And are you serious? You think that yeah. this box only contains one P? I don't know now. <laughs> oh, God. But you were so certain at that point. You convinced me totally that you had a sensation that this only had one P. Shall we move to the final stage? Do we have to? Yes, oh. we need to know who won. You have got eight and a half thousand pounds. But do you think this is an unlucky box? I think you played the banker absolutely right. I don't think he knew how to play you. He didn't know how to read you. You took the highest offer, which in itself is a credit, doesn't always happen. You took it at the right time, or did you? Let's see. If there is one P in here, despite the most catastrophic start imaginable, you have actually recovered and played the perfect game. You will have sold a one P box for eight and a half thousand pounds. If there's 20,000 pounds in here, the banker has beaten Audrey. And he saved his money for another day. Yeah. It's as simple as that. We all want this to be 1p and not 20,000 pounds. Angela, open box 16. Good call. Really, really good call. How do you feel? Still powerful. Well, so you should. <laughs> Great. You all right? Yeah. Thank Happy you. girl. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Audrey, eight thank and a half you. thousand pounds. Thank you. Thanks. Well done. Oh, thank goodness for that. I had a terrible feeling that was going completely the other way. But I wonder how you have done. Oh, 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds, 5,000 pounds. That's what we're offering somebody who has been watching Audrey put us through the mill. So, I wonder what it's going to be. Your name, sir? Liam. Liam. Box one, box two, or box three? Box two. Would you please open box number two? Five. 
5,000 pounds. Would you open the other two boxes, please? That's where the rest of the money was. So, the big money, the highest prize of 5,000 pounds goes to you. Well done. And she's got 8,500. Thank you. And we made her smile at last. And they're happy because they know the banker can be beaten. And that's what this game is all about. Beat the banker, keep your nerve, deal at the right time, do what Audrey did, and the big money is there. See you tomorrow. But once again, deal or no deal, I think you'll be back.